The first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. The Pacers have a battle ahead. Can they even the series at two games apiece? They know they can win and now must rise to the occasion with millions of fans looking on as they square off against the Milwaukee Bucks. Round one of the NBA playoffs continues. It's game four of the Eastern Conference quarterfinals. Glad you could join us today. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. From the sideline, we'll have David Aldridge. We'll be hearing from him in just a moment. Now, the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Middleton and Giannis slot in at the small and power forward. Damian Lillard out there with Malik Beasley. And it's Portis in its center, locking down the middle. And for the Pacers, Neesmith is out there with Pascal Siakam. Then it's Turner. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. And it's Nemhard in at the two spot. Taking a look at Indiana. Greg, no doubt, this is a defining moment for him, trying to even things up after four games. But if they lose this one, they'll be facing elimination on the road. And that would be done. Yeah, and that's why I expect tonight's crowd to be out of its collective mind. <laughs> the fans in this city love this team. They feel a very close bond with these players. Well, they're the sixth man that has to provide that energy if this series is to be knotted up. I think you've nailed it. Trains the three-pointer. Great job there getting the defense to commit one way, and then Lillard has the body control to pull up the other. Nails the quick jump. It's Turner high post. Working on Portis. Passes it to Nemo. Six to shoot. Indiana moving it around. Siakam for three. The putback. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. There's Portis. The rebound by Turner. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Beasley with the steal. And out of bounds as the Pacers gain possession. Bottom minute played so far here in the first. Halliburton against Lillard. Takes the three. And Turner the bucket on the assist by Halliburton. And Halliburton just sees the play before the play. Here's Antetokounmpo. from 10 and the jumper is good and Giannis continuing to look for the mid-range showing his confidence Indiana's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter Halliburton drives in the teardrop falls in he knew what he wanted to do all along the teardrop for Milwaukee they've gone two or three here to start out the game Portis sets the pick for Lillard. Launches a three, and another three for Milwaukee. Almost perfect in the game to start three of four. Lillard's gone two for two so far from three. Here's Nemhard, covered by Beasley. Here's Turner, and the layup's good off the glass. Turner's got five. Using a unique blend of power and finesse, Turner can make some tough baskets down low. Middleton outside. And it's Beasley in the corner. Middleton looking it over. Shot clock at five. That misses, so no good on his first attempt of the night. Siakam with it. Lillard picks him up. And stolen by Lillard. Middleton left side. It's rebounded by Neesmith. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. you got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. Now, here is Halliburton to the middle. In the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. The Bucs have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Portis, the pass to Andacumbo. And the double up on Andacumbo. 
Marcus Portis. And again, the Bucks miss. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Hello again, Caliber. Lillard outside. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Yeah, Lillard is fearless, able to take that hit and calmly knock one down and one. Milwaukee shooting their first foul shot of the night. A different look for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Bobby Portis. Alinari comes in for Antetokounmpo, and it's Patrick Beverly in for Beasley. One of the top 75 NBA players of all time. We should be enjoying the seasons that Damian Lillard is putting up in the next couple years. Now, here's McConnell. Here's Siakam. The shot's good. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Oh, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. Here's Shepard. Smith with a screen on Lillard. Puts it up from 12. And it's sent back by Lopez. Well, Lopez has size and great instincts. That makes him a threat to knock shots away like that. Gallinari counted good. And that's what you like to see right there. A solid move to give himself some room and take it inside. Now, Siakam. Smith with a screen on Gallinari. Shots good by Siakam. Yeah, yeah, you got to get out on that. Siakam demonstrating that ability to hurt you from beyond. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Pacers lead by one. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. 13. We welcome you back to game four on 2K Sports. And let's quickly break down the game, guys, we have seen from Indiana. What do you think? Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. Indiana leading on the court for Milwaukee here in the second. Connaughton and Middleton share the wing duty. Gallinari is out there with Brooke Lopez, and it's Beverly in at the point. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's on Brooke Lopez. Savvy move by Halliburton. Sees opportunities so quickly for a young player. The Pacers shooting their first free throws here tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. You know, young players who come into the league, you want to see if they can bring it every night. Halliburton has certainly fit that bill. Milwaukee making a switch here. Green's checked in. Halliburton hits them both. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. 
Lopez sets a screen for Middleton. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Indiana leading by three. Now, here's Toppin. He dishes it to Smith. And it's Halliburton penetrating. Bucket is good. Halliburton's got four points now in the quarter. Athleticism showing off here for Halliburton. He gets where he needs to be. Nice job on that drive. Middleton outside. Fires top of the key. That one also a miss for him. Just like the other three attempts this game. Pass to McConnell. Here, Shepard, guarded by Green. Shepard, the pass to Toppin. And Indiana, another three. And right now, they're just focused on putting together good possessions. That's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. Here's Middleton, drives to the hoop. Now the D had no chance, and Chris Middleton on the rise. Pacers leading by six. McConnell scanning the floor. Bounce pass, Halliburton. Pass to Smith. And the dunk by Smith. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Right wing. Smith against Lopez. The pass to Beverly. Six on the shot clock. Fires the three. The shot goes in. First shot, first basket. And becoming more of a staple of his attack offensively. You give Beverly a look from deep, and he'll make it. McConnell kicks to Toppin. McConnell passes to Halliburton. Smith with a screen on green. Puts it up from 12, and it's Smith that time on the assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's got his third assist on the night. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played, and Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. They won their last game Monday night. Yeah, their long-range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. Yeah, they sapped the energy right out of the building in that one. They just were knocking down threes, and it was deflating both for the team and the crowd. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Gallinari. Malik Beasley comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Damian Lillard in for Green. Lillard outside. He feeds it to Lopez. Turner with the steal. Oh, 
Pass to McConnell. Indiana moving the ball around. Let's the three fly. Lock at six. They get a hand on it. Pass to Turner. It's hauled in by Beverly. Bucks trail by seven. Pass to Lillard. From outside the arc. Nemhard grabs the board. Indiana's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. And here we go. Fast break. Beverly's got it. And there it is for him. Beverly's got five points in the quarter. That's where Patrick Beverly's defensive tenacity helps you out active hands, and he knocks the ball away. The pass to Siakam. Over Giannis. And Siakam with the basket on the assist by McConnell. Siakam's got his third bucket of the night. And so Beverly will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Seven-point differential. Passes it to Giannis. And the double up on to Kumbo. Fires from deep. And it's Patrick Beverly with the three. Beverly's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for Milwaukee. Yeah, this story in the second quarter much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Here's Siakam. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Count it, and the Pacer lead has been cut down now to just two points with that basket from Damian Lillard. Total lack of hesitation. Lillard trusting his selections completely. Siakam deciding where to go with it. down in the low post and it goes. Siakam's got nine. And always nice to have an inside out threat like Siakam. He can have an impact anywhere on the floor. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. It's the Pacers. They're up by four. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much Doc. I heard you imploring your team stick to the game plan and know your personnel. What's that mean? Yeah, we keep messing up coverages. You know, I get messing up on some guys, but that can't happen, but it did. So we just got to move it forward. We'll see if the communication picks up. Thanks, Doc. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Thanks for joining us for game four. At the half, some ground to make up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They're losing the battle on the boards, getting muscled out. If you don't control the paint, you're fried chicken. Wait, 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 what happened to the barbecue? They're not good enough for that. 
looking at this series for the Indiana Pacers. Some would look at this game as a must win in the series. One of the keys to getting it done. For me, Ernie, it's all about protecting the ball, treating every possession like it's your last. Uh, defensively, you got to be extra hungry, chase on every rebound and keep constant pressure on the shooters. Good tips from the experts. Oh, when no one's an expert, Ernie. I am. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. NBA playoffs, round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. One guy who's getting it done is Lillard. There must be ice water in his veins. Such an important game, and he plays superb basketball in that opening half. Still interesting to see if in this second half he can find ways to get to those same spots. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Miles Turner out there with Pascal Siakam. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. Then it's Neesmith. And it's Nemhard in at the two-guard spot. So that's the group out there for Indiana. There's more and more complete appreciation for how complete the offensive game of Damian Lillard is. The Bucks shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. The free throw is good from Lillard. Here's Nemhard. No scoring in this one. Turner with a screen on Beast. Nemhard, the pass to Siakam. And the rejection by Giannis! Lillard outside. For the lead. Siakam pulls it in. Indiana leading. Pass to Neesmith. Outside Turner. To Halliburton. That ball. Nice speed that time from Turner. Halliburton's got nine. Boy, Halliburton consistent with that shot. Lillard against Halliburton. Takes a three. And it's Lillard missing. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Here's Nemhoff. And Damian Lillard pulls it down. Bucks trail by five. Easily outside. Lillard from outside. Yes, it is. Or that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. It doesn't take much or long for Lillard to catch fire. An incredible offensive talent. Here's Siakam. And Siakam throws it down. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding. Rising up off the ground. Ball inside. Covered by Siakam. Down it goes. Nice one there from Kumbo. That's a nice move on the bounce from Giannis, showing that the tools are getting sharper. Halliburton outside. Siakam outside. Shot clock at six. The pass to Turner. Rebound, Milwaukee. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. And his touch has left him in this quarter. And we're close to the kind of output they need from him. Halliburton passes to Nemo. 
back to Halliburton. Here's the three. It's rebounded by Portis. Milwaukee has gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. Giannis in zone. Siakam's there. A nice shot there by Antetokounmpo. Giannis so strong. He almost invites that kind of contact and then says, I'm going right through you. Turner finds Halliburton. Turner with a screen on Lillard. Halliburton for three. Here's Turner. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Turner's got nine. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Halliburton against Lillard. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Halliburton for three. It's rebounded by Portis. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Here's Nemhard for by Beasley. Nemhard the pass to Halliburton. Indiana moving the ball around. Beasley against Siakam. Turner with the screen for Siakam. Goes up at the stripe. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got four rebounds in this game. This is it to Middleton. Beasley against Halliburton. Down low. Kicks it down to Middleton for the lead. It's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Passes to Halliburton. Siakam outside. Pass to Neesmith. And here's Halliburton. Here's Nemhard. Turner with a screen on Middleton. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. And we've watched three so far in this one. Pacers lead by five. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got. We've got Damian Lillard. Brooke Lopez is out there with Gallinari. Then it's Patrick Beverly. And it's Beasley in at the three, the small forward. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Here's Toppin. And it's sent back by Lopez. Lillard with it. Started now by Jackson. Here's Beasley, and it's Beasley finishing it off. Nice find by Lillard. He deserves some recognition for that kind of pass. Pacers leading by three. McConnell kicks to Jackson. Latrey, good. And McConnell gets the assist. Jackson's got himself on the board with three there. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Lillard attacking. He gets it in there. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Smith with a screen on Lillard. Here's McConnell, and it's sent back by Lopez. 
McConnell against Beasley. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Low block shot on the way, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up, and the foul goes against Indiana. Uh, we've seen Lopez be more and more assertive in looking for his shot, which in turn draws the defense's attention to him. Shoot two. That free throw, no good. Now, big and bad and reliable. Those are three great traits that Brooke Lopez brings to the table. Both teams will make substitutions. And he sinks the second. Pacers leading by three. Here's Nemhard. Pass to Halliburton. Over Lillard. Again, Indiana. Halliburton comfortable from there. Defense has to watch where he gets to on the court because right there he's dangerous. On the wing, yeah. Goes back up. They shoot again. He can't get it to go. Good work defensively by Turner. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for Indiana. Leading by five. Siakam passes to Halliburton. Back to Siakam. And the three off target. The Bucs have gone just 33% for the field in the fourth quarter. So they are two of six. Lillard against Turner. Lopez, a screen on Turner. That's a two from Lillard, and right on target. Good. Lillard's got nine points here in the second half. Now that's a tip of the cap there, always wanting to take the big shot for his team. Lillard makes more than his fair share. Outside Turner, beyond the arc. Rebound, Milwaukee. Minute 50 left in the fourth quarter. Out to Takumbo finds Lillard from 13. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. When a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. And the Bucks making a change here. Portis has checked in. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. Giannis. Dishes to Middleton. Here's Lillard on target from 13 feet. Lillard's got 22. Lillard came to the league in 2012. The three-point revolution has agreed with him, but he can still hit mid-range shots. Trust me. Siakam. Good D by Giannis. The Bucs have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth or of nine. Portis gets to Lillard. Easily outside. A putback. Oh, Giannis parachutes in for the putback. And that's what you want your leaders to do. Giannis stepping up in a big way. Timeout called the Pacers. They trail by one. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth. to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David O. David. During that last break, Kevin, we got a chance to hear Rick Carlisle's message to his team. He wants them to have an even temperament. He said, I like the energy, but don't rush. Don't force things. Let the game come to you. Kevin, it's difficult to play with everything on the line with that kind of equilibrium. 
Thank you, David. Siakam against Giannis. And the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Lillard with it. Guys, they're not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. Now's the time to burn some clock. And it's Indiana's ball. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Siakam. Good! Remember that one. Guys, a difference maker. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? Timeout called. The Bucks. They're down by one. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, what's your take? You know, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. And sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments. Three seconds left to play here in the fourth. Lillard on top. He's covered by Halliburton. And they've got a foul to give here if they need it. And the Pacers call time here. They're behind by two. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's the Pacers now, trailing by two. Siakam outside. Over onto the Kumbo, and the rejection by out of the Kumbo. And so it's the Bucks who come out on top here. And now they're sitting on a commanding three games to one lead. They've grabbed this series by the throat break. And, and, and Kevin, I don't think they're going to let it go. You could see the determination they had tonight. They don't want to drag this series out. They want to get this thing over with. And now let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thank you very much, Damian. This game went back and forth. What happened in the second half? Uh, they started off the game really well, and we expected that. You know, so we just had to weather that storm. You know, keep our composure um, and understand what it took to take over the game, and we matched that. Um, and it was who was going to come out and have a better start to the third. And we knew it wasn't going to be about offense. We knew it was going to be about defense. So we turned it up on the defensive end, and I thought that was where we where we separated ourselves. That was the difference tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us during this first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us as we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Damian Lillard.